Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com, on Roku, in the sports section, the vanity code is Dwyer Boxing News. The name of that site is Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. On iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. I like Tomas Ademek to beat Arthur Spielka, but I'm going to hedge the play with Spielka by KO. I believe Spielka's only chance in this fight is a puncher's chance. Let's talk about why. Now, the public's going to disagree with me, but I looked at that Tomas Ademek, Vyaslav Glasgow fight. That Ademek just lost. And quite frankly, I'm puzzled as to why he lost that fight. He did lose it. On my scorecard, he lost the fight. But when you have the hand speed and foot speed advantage that Ademek had in that fight, and given that you're fighting a guy who, to me, is a little wide. In other words, Glasgow was slower than a Demick. Not just in terms of hand speed, but in terms of read and recognition. In other words, you know, a Demick's just able to do things faster than Glasgow. I was a bit surprised that a Demick didn't try to get inside of Glasgow's jab. Right. Keep in mind, Glasgow has one of the sport's best jabs. For those who don't know, Vyaslav Glasgow has a George Foreman type of jab. In other words, it might not look that great, but it moves you. It can bludgeon you. Right. I would say Glasgow's jab is on par with Vladimir Klitschko's jab. Right now, curiously, Ademek, who showed hand speed and foot speed that he didn't show, quite frankly, in the Eddie Chambers fight. Right? Ademek's much faster than Glasgow, and he's moving around the ring, and he, he's popping a jab. Curiously, Ademek stayed outside to get hit by Glasgow's jab. And what that jab did is it started to close Ademek's eye. Then Ademek started getting hit with right hands. Ademek, when he was outside in that fight, didn't use enough lateral movement, and I thought he didn't come inside enough and work Glasgow's ribcage. And make no mistake, Thomas Ademek is an accomplished fighter who can fight inside. That's why it was even more curious. Right? So I thought Ademek gave away that Glasgow fight. Right? The concern I have with the Demick is he's had some close fights of late. Right? You know Steve Cunningham's going to hit you with a jab. But yet a Demick seems surprised by it. He won that fight, but it was close. He's fighting Eddie Chambers. Eddie Chambers hurts his hand. Actually has to switch to a southpaw stance. And then somehow is able to go 12 rounds against Tomas Ademek. But understand, Ademek is a craftsman. He's a technician who knows the sport on an increasingly high level. Right? By contrast, Arthur Spielka is a young guy. And it shows in the ring. He doesn't have Ademek's level of defense. He doesn't have the ring presence. What he has is an excellent left cross that can knock anyone out. But other than that big punch, and other than his athleticism, right? Spielka can move around the ring. He has foot speed. And other than the fact that he's a southpaw who bends at the waist, so against less experienced fighters than a Demick, that would pose problems. Right? The problem is he's playing a chess player. He's playing a grandmaster. Right? Ademek, quite frankly, is too skilled for Spielka. What I believe is going to happen in this fight is that as Spielka moves around the ring away from Ademek, Ademek is going to move with him. Right? Ademek still has above average foot speed. 
I believe Ademek is going to make Spielka work. He's going to force Spielka to raise his hands. I think what you're going to find is that Spielka is open for right hands. I think what else you're going to find is that Ademek, who has had problems with straight right hands, isn't going to have that problem against Spielka because Spielka is a southpaw. His right hand is not his dominant hand, right? So those moments in the Glasgow fight where Ademek's eye gets puffed up, he's getting bludgeoned with the left jab, and he seems unconscious, unaware of Glasgow's right hand until Glasgow pops it. Those moments aren't going to happen here. Right? Because Spielka's dynamite is in his left hand. And Spielka, while he has a jab, his jab's not on par with Glasgow's jab. Right? Understand, too, when we talk about a jab, a jab doesn't have to look great to be dynamite. In other words, a jab really comes down to the amount of leverage that the fighter gets on the jab. Certain fighters... Carlos Monzon, Larry Holmes, I believe Vladimir Klitschko. Certain fighters have jabs that are so heavy that the punch should be considered a power punch. Right? That's what Ademek's last opponent, Glasgow, had. Spielka doesn't have that. Spielka's jab stings a little, I'm sure. But it's not going to knock you out. Right? So I believe what you're going to have is a Demic who's still quick at 37. Right? Don't be fooled by him in comparison to Eddie Chambers, whose nickname is Fast Eddie Chambers. Understand, Fast Eddie Chambers is quick for a heavyweight. He's very quick for a heavyweight. All I'm saying is here, Ademek, who looked faster than Glasgow, is going to look faster than Spielka, right? He didn't look faster than Eddie Chambers because Eddie Chambers is a Usain Bolt type character in the heavyweight division in terms of his tempo and stuff like that. But Ademek is above average in terms of his tempo the pace he sets. And I believe that pace is going to be too much and too fast for Spielka. Right? I like Ademek to win the fight. Right? We have seen Ademek get stopped in fights. The Vitaly Klitschko fight. Ademek got stopped. But understand, Klitschko is probably, in fact, I believe he is, the best heavyweight of the post-Lennox Lewis era. Right? While Spielka has a puncher's chance, let's just say Ademek has one of the best chins in boxing. If I had one bet to make, it would be on Tomas Ademek to win this fight. Right? If I'm allowed to hedge the play, I would hedge it with Spielka by KO. In my opinion, this is too much, too soon. Young guys look great against each other. They'll look great against journeymen like Mike Mallo and Minto, right? Understand, you should not confuse Mike Mallo with Tomas Adamic. Right. Also understand the guys Adamic has, has been fighting. I know he hasn't looked great against Steve Cunningham or uh, Glasgow. What I would encourage you to do is look at Cunningham's background. Understand Cunningham is a former cruiserweight champion. You might recall Marco Huck giving Alexander Povetkin, a former heavyweight champion, a hard time. Just understand Steve Cunningham beat Marco Huck in Germany. Right. Also, don't be fooled by you know, the Eddie Chambers fight. Eddie Chambers is a handful for most heavyweights. Understand, Eddie Chambers was just moments away 
from going the distance against Vladimir Klitschko for the heavyweight title before he got caught with the left hook in the 12th round. Right? Osko Glaskov, just understand, I know he had a draw with Malik Scott. Understand Malik Scott just beat up Alex Lipe, right, in Australia. And just understand that Glaskov is a decorated amateur, right, who now is a professional who's still unbeaten, right? So Tomas Ademic might not look dominant against dominant opposition, but I believe it's a mistake given Spielka's inexperience and given the fact that Spielka right, uses his legs for defense. In other words, the kitchen gets hot, he just backs away from the stove. He's not there bobbing, weaving, staying inside, right? Given the gap between these two guys in experience and in defense, and given the fact that Ademic, right, throws great combinations, right? I don't know why Ademic didn't let his hands go more against Glasgow, right? Just understand that when Ademic lets his hands go, look at the Chris Ariola fight. He's throwing great combinations. I don't believe Spielka will be able to handle Ademic's pacing or volume. I like Ademic in the fight, hedged with Spielka by KO. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Also check out my pay site here on YouTube, Dwyer Sports Betting. Thanks for stopping by.